Welcome back to Dayton Flyers Insider. You know, they say that teams take on the personalities of their head coach, and that certainly appears to be the case with Dayton. Like Archie Miller, the Flyers are full of energy, fast paced, and relentless. Slide Darrell penetrate, kick out to Cook around to Scooch, back to Pollard on the wing. Pollard down low, kick out, around it comes to Cook on the baseline. Nice he pass. Pollard from the dunk. That's oh, ball movement. Great ball movement. Ball movement. Great ball movement. Uh, just up and down, you know, just being a basketball player, just going at that pace and a, a little bit of freelance, you know, that's something every player wishes to have. And, you know, just exhausting the opposing team. You know, our team just run up and down so much. We got fast, fast tempo. I think a lot of guys enjoy it. Uh, it took me a while, a little bit, to get uh, really adjusted to the system. Just learning, you know, a few things. But I'm, I'm getting more adjusted to each game I play. And, uh, and obviously, you know, it's showing on the floor. And me just sticking with my game, just uh, being confident in myself. And just going out there and just really relying on my teammates uh, to help me do the things that I do. And, uh, you know, I just really just enjoy having, you know, a good time with them on the floor all the time. Dayton's brand of basketball is one of the most exciting and efficient styles in the NCAA. Coach Archie Miller works tirelessly to build from within and fashion an attacking system. This system has a seamless transition between defensive intensity to offensive cohesiveness, all stemming from an attack mentality. They've had to adjust, but when you play good fundamental basketball, when you run hard, you play solid fundamental defense, you communicate on offense, you can pull off those last minute wins like we've seen them do so many times this season just because they can play fundamental basketball and that makes up for a lot of other things. It's the guy that everybody looks for to, you know, get the team going. Coach tells me all the time, you know, um, I'm the one that gets the team going. If I'm not playing defense hard enough, you know, the team not going. So kind of pride myself in getting the guys going. So I got to play hard every every night on defense to just get the, the guys going and the crowd going. You know, kind of exciting to see that because later down the road, I know I'm going to pick it up on offense, you know, one steal might lead to a fast break and, you know, scooch and somebody might pass me a ball for a layup. So, you know, kind of pride myself on defense. This season, the Flyers are averaging the most points per game under Coach Miller. With a dedicated 365-day approach to total development, the Flyers have consistently topped previous bests in most statistical categories. Offensively, UD's field goal percentage and three-pointers made per game are higher. Defensively, their steal rate and block rate are also up this year. Toughness, tenacity, and togetherness are the backbone of the Flyers' defensive prowess. Methodical movement, spacing, and sharing the ball are the essence of Dayton's offensive proficiency. Combined, the Flyer attack exhausts the opposition on both ends of the floor. You have to have as a program something you believe in. And I think, you know, a lot of programs claim to, to believe in a lot of things, that they're the best or they do things a certain way. I think we're as organized as any in terms of our player development. We have a philosophy about it. We believe in it. We recruit to it. Um, and I think when you see a Devin Oliver go through a three-year period of time and where he started to where he finished, to be an all-conference player uh, as a senior, um, it shows you that we get guys better. When you look at the improvement of a Scoochie Smith from year one to two, a Kendall Pollard being the most improved player in our conference, it really just doesn't happen in the games. And I think the way we lift weights year round, from the way we shoot in different phases of the season to the way we try to develop our position groups, there's a real method to the madness. And I think the carryover, um, you know, you have hard facts. And I think that's when your guys grow year to year and they look different and they play different. That system has led to unprecedented successes, and this season is no exception. The game day wins are a product of a relentless pursuit from the staff to honor the processes of working hard daily with an intensive effort. Archie has done a great job recruiting. It's fun to watch his teams because he recruits the kind of guys I like to recruit, not by position, but by skill. So you really have, you can have four or five guards out there of different sides. And Archie and I have some uh, uh, history from the Pac-12. And uh, watching him coach his team, uh, I would venture to say they execute a little bit better than his brother's team does. 
I think the fact that they have such good athletes in the offensive end too it's one thing to play great defense and they really do but I like watching this team play on offense too I love Scoochie Smith I love the way he can command a game Deshaun Pierre coming back to this team is awesome I, I think they have just so much talent Pollard really makes uh, makes it all stick I think more than anything else I think he's kind of the glue for this team offensively and you know, I watched him early in the year against Alabama and that was my first exposure to this Dayton team early in the season and I thought this this is probably going to be a team that you're going to want to watch out for in March and I think they've continued that trend. I, don't, I haven't seen anything that's made me think anything otherwise so far. Welcome back with Josh Pastorino. You have a courtside seat as a radio analyst from time to time for the Dayton Flyers. What makes it so difficult for opponents to handle them not just at home but over the course of a conference season? They throw so many things at you. You know, they're, Archie's built a program and a, you know, identity. You know, they're, uh, he likes to always start off talking about uh, defense. You know, their, their defensive intensity, uh, you'll see it in practice. They work on different parts of defense every day. Um, they have a pack line defense. But the biggest thing about their defense is they trust each other. You know, they trust each other to that if they make a mistake, somebody else is picking them up. All five guys guard the ball. But now offensively, you know, they have a system that shares the ball. They sh everybody shares the ball, and it really promotes team chemistry. You know, that ball is always popping around the perimeter. Whenever you see that thing moving around the perimeter, reversing the both sides of the floor, they're really going fast, and you can expect a good night offensively from the Flyers. And it's always a big piece of the recruiting process as well, bringing guys in that fits that system. Thanks so much, Josh. Sure, Dwight. Will Volley with the men's and women's tennis teams coming up, plus some Philadelphia freedom for the women's basketball team. Dayton Flyers Insider will be right back.